perfect world. Does that make sense? Yes. Uh, then we can see that in this perfect, harmonious world that we've created, where we know that up till this point, since the day that we were born, everything has worked out just right. Our memories are of a beautiful childhood for ourselves and those around us. Beautiful, never-ending summers and dreams and wonderful teenage years as well as university time and the world of work. Uh, being a parent is such a bliss and everything else community, friends and relatives was, is and will always be just right if that makes sense. So before I start I just want to touch on this because it's very important that we accept this as being the truth and when we do we feel a sense of not only a deja vu, but a sense of relief and comfort and a sense of being able to move forward even before the day we were born up until this day. We see ourselves moving forward perfectly as perfect beings, which is what we were intended to be and what we are now and what we will always be. Now, there may be at some stage, some negativity around, and that is perfectly fine. As long as we're able to revisit through memory processes and memory banks and look objectively at those memories and see that they are indeed, when looked at objectively, reframed as positive occurrences and the same happens for the present and the same happens for the future. We then begin to anticipate goodness around us. Um, our desires are met, we have enough of the good stuff in life we're surrounded by friends, we have money uh, coming in. Um, we have achieved a lot. We're wise, we're bringing goodness into the world, good teachings as we were students and learned from others. There comes a stage in our life when we take on the mantle of teaching others, whether we are in business or in education, we're always first and foremost learners and teachers. What are we learning? We learn in life and what are we teaching? We teach in life. How to navigate life from the day we were born until the day we leave this planet. And so we can see that at that particular moment of pleasure, having gone through the immediate pleasure of food and shelter and security and so on, and water, onto the pleasure of um, having others company with us and the pleasure of love and the pleasure of fulfillment and education and into the pleasure of creativity and the pleasure of flow and being in the zone and transcendence, then we can see that, positively speaking, we drift into this wonderful world of harmony, one with nature, our true nature, perfect beings, if that makes sense. But before I start, I just want to say that this is something that all of us are capable of. So when we look at the book of J or when we look at what we have put out there in various 
formats and through various means of communication. We're really just communicating this particular idea and thought all the time. That no matter where we start from, no matter where we come into this realization, whether we come into it early, from the day we were born, or in our teenage years, or whether we come into it in our later life and we convert it into this new world and simply uh, following simple steps such as walking, a form of exercise, relaxing, a form of meditation and prayer, and dieting, eating the right foods, and so on. But we synchronize and, and we focus and we put a spotlight, and the operative word here is light. And light a spark, a spark of fire within our souls. And we remember, we remember who we are, perfect beings. So I just wanted to share that with you. And I hope that those members of our audience at the back will see in this something that will reflect back onto themselves as we drift into this wonderful world of the here and now. Thank you.